What's going on everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. We've been covering Android N ever since Google took the wraps off its very first alpha release. It's one thing to talk about hypothetical situations, talk about new features that they've added like call blocking, new emoji, new quick settings, and a ton more, but it's a totally different thing to talk about actually using it. And I've been using the third beta of Android N on my 6P for the better part of five days and I wanna share my experiences. I'm talking about it a lot on Twitter. I've been getting a ton of questions. So I'm gonna answer your questions, everything that you guys wanted to know about Android N. This is the question I got more than anyone else. Um, battery life has been okay. It's been about 10 to 15% worse than what I had on Marshmallow, but don't take it as a sign of Android N not being good for battery life. Take that more of a sign is just a third beta and they're bound to be memory leak issues. And that's all despite things like Doze on the Go and Projects Felt being built into Android N. By the time it comes to release, I expect battery life to be much better than Marshmallow, but at least for right now, if you're considering putting it on your 6P or other Nexus device, be aware battery life will not be as strong as it was with an official build of Android. This seems to be one of the biggest problems with the third build of Android N, and I've definitely had those problems. I've had issues with it connecting to my car. I've had to repair it, reconnect it. Uh, no issues at all with connecting to Android Wear, if that's something that's important to you. And definitely there have been some A2DP issues at all with songs not coming over or metadata not coming over with those songs. So Bluetooth seems to be a little bit wonky. You can work around it, but it's far from perfect, at least right now. I've actually been really impressed with stability. It seems to be very good. I've had some third-party app crashes, which sort of is known to happen. Uh, Snapchat's been a little bit wonky for me. I can't get my Kivo app, which is my smart lock at home, to even install on a device. But other than that, it's been like 95% really solid uh, and running very fast and with not that much uh, app crashing at all. So if you think about trying it, it's not the worst idea. Nutella, for sure. I think it's a farce what Google's trying to say about pick the name. They've already said they're gonna pick the name anyway for you to find print on that. It's gonna be Nutella. I'm just, you heard it. Heard it here first. Multi Windows has been nice. I'm not using it all that often. There's been one instance where it's been really nice to have. Uh, doesn't work with every app, so bear that in mind right now. Hopefully as more versions of the beta come out, it'll have more compatibility. Uh, but it's nice and it works as advertised. CMOS updates will not make it to the 6P and the 5X. I ran an article about it last week. It's a sort of a complicated answer, but it boils down to partitions. Uh, Google's gonna need a small partition on your device to install it on the background, wave another live partition, which is what you're actually using. And the 6P and the 5X don't do it out of the box. I'd expect next year Android devices though, to of course, to enable seamless updates. It doesn't appear to be any snappier uh, at all than Marshmallow, but it does appear to be at least as snappy as Marshmallow, which is surprising for a beta. Uh, it's been really solid, really responsive, and overall working pretty well. So just my experiences with Android N so far. As more betas come out and you guys have more questions, I'll do updates to this video. Anything you guys want to know, leave in the comments down below. Hit me up at Twitter, hit me up at Snapchat, any of the social ways you can get a hold of me, and I will try to answer anything you want to know about Android N. Boils down to this though, if you've been waiting to install Android N on your 6P, your 5X, your Pixel C, now seems like a good time to do it. It's been really stable, it's my only phone I've been using. Things seem to be working like 90% of the way. Uh, the battery life has not been as good as I would have hoped, that's to be expected for a beta, and it's far better than most betas I've tested in the past uh, at all. So as far as betas are concerned, thumbs up for Android N. Get installing, leave comments down below. Until next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. If you like this kind of videos, hit the subscribe button, we always appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.